All right, guys, what's up? It's Reverend Hellbilly here, doing my my first uh, video vlog, you know, stuff. So, kind of excited. If you see it and you like it, whatever, you know, give me a like. All right. So, I want to talk to you about this Harbinger uh, MLS 900 today. Okay. So, it gets a lot of bad rap. It does, and I know, it, and I've seen it all. Like, I think all these line arrays sound like crap. They really do. Like, oh, we're going to plug into this thing and it's going to sound good? No, none of them sound good. I'm sorry. I don't care. You could spend $2,000 or you could spend $400. So I bought a $400 one. It's got a whole bunch of ins and outs. XLRs, you know, switches, all this. So, you know, I put my, my cell phone through it on the Bluetooth. The thing sounds awesome. The music sounds freaking great. Like, okay, so this thing has the capability of sounding really good. I know it's not going to sound good on its own. So I brought it home. You know, I plugged in like a vocal processor, like uh, one you would plug your guitar and your vocals into and plugged into it. Obviously, that sounded a lot better. There's no reverb delays or nothing. It's just dry. It, but it's 900 watts of power, so it's got to sound good somehow. I figured that. So I had run every connection from my mixer into it, you know, because I know it needs a mixer. You know, the best one, the the Bose, you know, $3,000 one, it comes with a mixer. It has a mixer. That's why that one sounds better. It's got a mixer. You need a mixer. So anyway, so I ran it. And I just couldn't figure out it because common sense would say to you, oh, you need an XLR. You know, you have to have an XLR. That makes sense. You want three pins. It's going to sound better, better sound quality. I, I got to tell you, that's not it. It was the weirdest thing in the world that one of these silly connectors um, that you used to buy at Radio Shack or whatever, this plugged into the XLR, plugged into the quarter inch stereo that's got the third channel, it's got the Bluetooth, it's got two ins and outs stereo. You could do all kinds of stuff in that channel. And you could do it all at the same time. I can run this in there and still Bluetooth the music through my cell phone and it works fine. So that's one thing. So this made it sound as, as good as it could possibly do in a quarter inch. So it comes, my XLR comes out of my board and goes to this thing. So that's a low Z. So that's kind of weird. Okay, whatever. Um, so I took a low Z cable, which would be like, you know, this was on the end itself. That thing sounded like crap again. I was right back to square one in the XLR, in, in the quarter inch input. So... I'm experimenting with that, but I'm telling you, like, if you got one of these and you just like, ah, uh, it doesn't sound good. You know, to me, it's just a powered speaker. It's not the, the be all end all. I'm just going to take this to a gig and we're going to play this gig with that. It's not going to happen. You know what I mean? So that's it for me. But so I'll show you some of the other stuff. I'll show you the uh, I'm using a board, the air mixer, the 12, the simple air mixer, you know, I, a 12 channels. That's all you need for a simple rock and roll band playing, you know country, you know, playing Waylon Jennings song Saturday night. We don't need to mic drums and stuff. Sometimes, like, we got to play in a closet. And then if we're not playing in a closet, we're usually playing in a big place where they already got a PA. But you know what's going on. You got to have a PA. And you want it to be light. You don't want it to kill yourself. You know, the uh, the two pieces come in a nice bag. It made sense. It was 400 bucks. You know, could I have bought some more powered speakers? Yeah, I, I've bought some, like, other powered speakers, and they sound good, too, and you can run all of them. You know, you just, you know, you hook them together. But you have to find the right way to do it. So I'm just telling you, if you got one, I think even if you're a DJ and you're playing and you're like, I'm not getting the quality of sound, seriously, try try these silly things. I know. That's the best I can tell you. You know, it's sort of like 6 7 $8. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them at the local music store, usually. So that would be my thing. All right, this is the Reverend Hellbilly. Have a good one. I will talk to you soon. Like I said before, you know, like my channel, listen to the band a little bit, and I'll be back. All right, thanks.